call on Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakhakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Ruel. I am not a member of Great Millstone, however, I've entered into their labors. Peace, mercy, and blessings to the Sarah brothers and sisters doing this, wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. Back at you with another quick one. Uh, I'll grab, let this play, grab a couple of precepts, and then that'll be the video, just to kind of shed some light on a, uh, this is somewhat of an old subject, um, about denying the Northern Kingdom. And there are some other things that I want to cover in this as well, but, um, this whole thing just screams Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 50, Jeremiah 2, mainly Jeremiah 2. But yeah, I'm going to let this play. I might pause it in between just so, uh, um, you know, I can bring the precepts out and then that'll be the video. Weaker Hotel decided to ban Native Americans in Rapid City, South Dakota, 1868 Treaty Territory. And look at what they doing, marching like the North, like like the Southern Kingdom, marching like Judah marching for what? For nothing. The owners claim they can't tell the difference between a good native or a so like your Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the Southern Kingdom. A bad native, so they decided to ban all natives from their business. They couldn't tell the difference between good or bad, so they decided to ban them all, um, which is ironic, <laughs> uh, because. Look at this possible Edomite right here. But that's ironic um, that they can't decipher from good or bad, so they ban them all um, because that is the same thing that we can say about you, Esau, Edom. Tribal leaders, spiritual leaders, and warriors of the Lakota, Nakota. Dakota came together to serve a treaty eviction notice to the hotel owners. The Lakota, Nakota, and Dakota have to consistently fight for basic human rights on their own ancestral territory. Don't that sound... Don't that sound familiar? Fighting for basic rights? Because you're three-fifths of a human anyway? I mean... The similarities of... are just... Unmatched. They, un, they, the similarities is the, uh, oh, I needed to go to the four. They speak out, and for those who have eyes and ears to hear and see, um, the so called Latinos and natives are your brothers that are, that is the Northern Kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, who are the so called Negroes, all right, and vice versa. Um, No, let me, I'm going to get Jeremiah, since I'm already here, let's get it, 4 and 22, because they're <laughs> trying to uh, pull a treaty out of their behind. That was, that is real, but I mean, since when has any of them ever honored a treaty with you, right? So there's that. Jeremiah 4 and 22, for my people is foolish, they have not known me, they are sottish children. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And that is Israel and Judah to a T. You give our people something wicked and they will cook up every which kind of idea that they can. And make it cool. They'll make it, they'll make it popular and all the heathen will be doing it. And that's why Esau Edom puts things in our face like that so we can take it on. We are always the face of wickedness and foolishness. And then everyone else does it. They put, you know, because we're the salt of the earth. Uh, we'll, I, need, I do need Jeremiah 50 before I continue. Chapter 50, that is. Um, verse... Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking. Boom, 33, Jeremiah 50 and 33. That is right here in modern day Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. Um, 
which is controlled by Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast, and they refused to let them go. All right, but their Redeemer is strong. Yahweh of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause. And that is to like, con that word plead goes into like to contend. Um, you know, basically, he gonna put the, he gonna put hands on these heathen uh, that grabbed us up. You know, while you know who I'm talking to. And that's what they fear. <laughs> that power that they can't control. A power that is, is not of their creation. You know, if you're an anime watcher, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is not power of your creation, right? So, yeah, they fear that, and that's what's on the way, you know, because this time it's going to be your time to drink of that cup. But let me finish it. Their Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. Okay, so let's let that, I'm going to let it roll and then get a couple more. Without national attention. Notice of trespass, cease and desist, delivered today by Ocheti Shako and leadership to the gate, Grand Gateway Hotel and subsidiaries and any other racist person out there watching. Make a short statement, guys. Another one, one more. The chairman. You know, you hear them hollering, no justice, no peace. You're not going to get justice. You need to wait on a righteous judge. Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? All right, because we... This is what we're waiting on. This is the justice that you seek, but you don't know you seek because you don't know the gospel. Um, damn, hold on. Is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Revelation 13, verse 10. Here's your justice that you're looking for, but you, but, but you look at this book like it's, like it's a fairy tale. You look at this book through the eyes and the lenses of an of a heathen because you allow them to teach you and take control over what you know. Well, not allow you. How about you? My child allowed it, but now that the spirit is going out, you know that is no more. Now you still have your two thirds who were not given the eyes and the ears to see, but those of us who do have the eyes and the ears to see, who may happen to hear this, this is the justice you're seeking. You just don't know it yet until you hear this. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I did a video yesterday or the day before about what patience means. And, and you know, patience having this perfect work. Because that is what this, this is a long game. This is a marathon, not a sprint. A lot of things have to happen and have to play out for the sake of prophecy. And then when Yahweh, uh, when Yahweh Shai returns, um... You know, he'll get his lick back and then under him and King David and the 44,000, it is your turn to get your lick back. But it takes patience. You have to wait. And that's the hard thing for our people to do. It's very hard to wait while you're in a lower state, isn't it? But pray for that spirit and that power to do so. All right. Let's get one more on that just to just to uh, add a little bit to it, um, which is one of my favorites. But I have so many. Where am I going? Lamentations. Where are you at? There we go. No, not five. Yeah, Lamentations 4 and 21 and 22. Starting at 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwells in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall be make and shall make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, or properly to Zion in Lashwar Kadash. He will no more carry thee away in captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. And Edom 
is linked to Babylon the Great. They, according to prophecy, they will be the leaders and rulers of Babylon the Great, which is the whore that rides on the back of the beast, and the beast is NATO in the EU. Matter of fact, since we're talking about our Northern Kingdom brothers and how much blood was shed, how much of their blood was shed on this land, right? So every little move that Esau Edom has made, every step that they took, it has been recorded. And now all of that iniquity, all of that foolishness, all of that vile, wicked behavior has come to a head. And Yahweh Bashim Shai has called out your tab. It's time to pay. And that's what they're afraid of. Everything that you've done, you're paying for. You're going to pay for, and it is listed in this book. So this is a law. You know, they took this, they took this book in their hands. They said it when they started this, they were a Christian nation with the Bible in their hand, misusing it, right? Because there's nothing wrong with the Bible. There's something wrong with the wilder. And their will, and their gluttony, and their greed, and their murderous intent, and, and their... I, I can't even form every, you know what it is. I, I, I'm i going to say something vulgar, but you know what I'm saying. So Numbers 35, verse 33, here's a law. Since they took this book into their hands, right, the, they're, you're subject to this. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Defile, okay, so that's what I just wanted right there. I wanted that. So this is numbers 35 and 33. So you, hey, <laughs> uh, hey, I, I, I wouldn't, I don't envy you. Not in the slightest. I do not envy you. This is and I'm sure that um, the Jake among them, because there's a lot of Edomites there too, or so, or what looks to be Edomites that are there, but they they may very well count this as a victory. They they might think that they've gotten something, or if they come out and apologize, or they you know they might demand an apology or something of that. But there's a greater justice coming. There's an actual justice coming. All right, instead of leaning to your own understanding. And staying upon him that smote you and continues to smite you to be just and fair to you is is, is insanity. Unity guys, this is Ocheti Shakowin standing on 1851 and 1868 treaty. You know what? Which reminds me. Like I said, this whole thing screams Jeremiah. Two and eleven hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. <sighs> In the right. land of Hesapa. Chairman Fraser, put your hand on it when he gets done taping. Only Chairman the leader, Scott. Only the, the next Fraser. chairman. The next chairman. Oh yeah, put your hands on it. Make it the chairman. No more, no more. Oh yeah, day. They're served, people. They're served today. They're served today. They're served. 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 Let's declare own careful because we're not backing down. You see, well, that was it. That was the video. And you see our people will continue um, <laughs> up until they can't anymore to depend on this devil. The same devil that... Uh, has treated us so unjustly 
they're going to look to him for justice. And again, you see the 1868 treaty territory. You should look up how many treaties were made and how many they actually kept. Nothing changes, but our people continue to do the same thing over and over, which is by definition insanity. But, um, you know, what is, let me see. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. I want that real quick, and we'll close on that. Um... Let me get it on my laptop. I may have uh, typed that wrong, but I'm I'm gonna get that, and then we are gonna close out. You know, so just bear with me a second. Let's see. Yeah, that's Psalms one ten. So we'll go to Psalms one ten, and this is when most of our people most of them because you do have a set two thirds who are going to um, be wicked and perverse until the end. Psalms 110. I don't know why I'm kind of scrolling. Like I don't know where stuff is. <clears throat> All right. Psalms 110 verse three. Uh, Verse three is the point, but this is a short one. Why don't we can read this? And you know, we can read it. Ain't no big deal. We gonna I'm gonna go ahead and read it out. I like to say the words out loud, even though they don't have the same force because it is not in, in, in the Lashwan Kadash. I still like to read the scriptures out loud to put that out there. You know what I'm saying? So let's get it. Psalms one ten, verse one. The Lord saith unto my Lord, <laughs> Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies my foot thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Woo thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Malak Tazadak or Mel Melchizedek. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through the kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the blood. Or he shall drink, sorry, he shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. And this is talking about Yahawashai right here. Okay. And that's why, as it says, that's why I giggle when I say, when it, at the top, where it says, the Lord said unto my Lord, right? Because this is a Psalm of David. And um, it's speaking of Yahawashai. So on that, we can end that right there. Um, hold on. Or can we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 cut, we'll, we'll cut it right here. Um, I'll more than likely do a part two because there's more there's more that i want to get but i want to roll into something else so all right shalom